No, you gotta go by your name. Your name thing right there. Uh, obviously, it was a, a really good win. Uh, two good teams with uh, seniors on it. And I uh, was really proud of our guys defensively down the stretch. Uh, our goal was to hold those, their big three big guys to 30 points or less. And we were able to do that. And uh, Daniel came in and was really efficient offensively. Um, did a lot of good things. Big rebound at the end. And then we made some big free throws. And Tony continues to get better. And, do great things for us. But I really thought everybody who played for us gave us some really good minutes. And uh, it was a really good team win. We want to run. You know, I thought there was a stretch in the second half where we got stagnant and, and uh, we had some layup opportunities and didn't get them. And we had some, I thought, drove it to the basket and didn't get, get a, a, a call. Uh, but w the best thing about our team is we didn't panic. And uh, w emotionally, I thought we were locked in the whole game. But we definitely want to run. But, you know, Gonzaga's good. You know, they're not ranked number 10. Uh, for nothing, so. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of how our team respond. Um, we got this little thing called E plus R equals O. Uh, this was the event and uh, that was the event in my team, and I responded well. And as you see, the outcome came in our favor. So anytime we're having a close game, it's teaching us all how to be poised, how, how to play under control, and how to execute certain sets so we can give ourselves a chance to win the game. And today we did that. Uh, Tony, you said about just grappling the, the big guys underneath. Um, you got some bonus and foul trouble there. Uh, that was big, obviously. He's off the court for a big chunk of, big chunk of the second half. What did you guys do? I mean, the big key was not letting them get the ball. Um, if they get it, stay down. Don't don't give easy basket because like we had the help for the wind, for the wind. Like so, basically, it was like don't don't let it get the ball. If they get it, just stay down and defend and and control like the penetration. So that was the easy, the, the key of the game. I like, stay down and don't let it get the ball. Um, it, it gives us a conf confidence booster, but uh, we know that we got to play a tough opponent next game, so we're not we're not gonna linger on this win uh, because it's a it's a turnaround, a quick turnaround. So we got to prepare ourselves and go back to the drawing board and, and stay humble about the situation. Yeah, we're, we're, we're thankful, obviously. It's Thanksgiving, so we're thankful, but we, we will uh, move on, and uh, we want more. You know, we want our guys to to um, expect more, and, and they came into this tournament for one purpose, was to win it. So um, we've taken two steps, and the big question, can we take the next one? And we, we're a deep enough team, uh, I think, to do it, but uh, again, we're going to play a really good team, and. Um, so we'll see. We're looking forward to tomorrow. Well, it, some of it had to do with um, how we wanted to g guard their big guys in, in certain lineups on our team. We have a lot of young guys in defensively at times and good length, and I thought our zone was good for us. They made six threes the first half. You know, and it finished with nine, but that's how we we wanted them to shoot threes, and they they made them. They made more than we thought, uh, but uh, we wanted to in control the interior defensively, and I, I thought we were able to do that. And since they're a good team, they made shots, but fortunately they they missed the one at the end, and and I, maybe that we wore them down. So hopefully. Yeah. 
Yeah, the rebound was the one I'm the most proud of. Because <laughs> I know he can make shots and make free throws, but uh, to go down and, and get a big rebound, that, that was a, a big possession. And, and they had done it to us, so we, we owed him, and he went and got it. <laughs> so. Coach, we know um, Tavario's playing at home in the finals, second time in a row, Bahamians in the finals. It will be the first time a Bahamian actually dips the trophy of the players and the coaches. How have you taken it with him? I mean, we, we love Tavario. He's one of our leaders, one of our hardest workers. He, he does a lot of things to help our team be who it is. Uh, he didn't play the minutes that uh, he would have liked to play, I'm sure, or I would have liked to play them. It just happens that way. But he, he represents his country big time. All right, thank you. Another one.